This video is sponsored by Hero Wars. Hero Wars is a free-to-play online RPG with a variety of PvP and PvE modes. You can fight against a lot of challenging bosses and experience a story that feels like it's from a classic fantasy game. You can complete various missions and collect loot and upgrade your champions. The game has more than 50 unique heroes, each with their own unique set of abilities. Combine and assemble different teams to battle in the arena or traverse an endless tower. You can interact with others around the world by creating guilds or battling them. There's also a ranking system so you can see how you stack against others. If you join the game now by clicking the link in the description or scanning the QR code on screen, you can get a super chest with a secret hero, as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Hero Wars is available on mobile devices and it can also run on a web browser. Make sure to check out this free-to-play game if you're looking for a new RPG. Right, right now it's looking like Tarek's gonna is gonna take it. He's gonna qualify for finals. Oh, you're nuts! Man, yeah, there's a lot of German players in this bracket. Cause what, True and Tarek are both German, right? Pretty sure. Does anyone know who would norm who normally wins this set? Tarek normally wins. Okay. And Tarek's just doing a really good job of... He just really knows when to jump in. It also feels like True 4 could be going for more neutral airs to um, keep Tarek out. It's because neutral air covers so much range and it has like uh, has such little end line on it. And so safe on shield. Like right there, even though he parried the Nair, he didn't even try to punish it because Tarek knows like how safe Nair is on shield. Should be fine. Oh no, never mind. He could have done the second slash and like potentially grab the ledge unless Terry hit him again. He's even jumping around the stationary shield, you know, he's playing completely without. Oh, yeah. He tried to read a jump attempt. Of course, he is playing in this matchup. It's going to be important where Shield Monad is going to come through, but Terry can get those set up so fast after each other. That should not be an extremely determining factor. Oh, oh, nice up tilt to kill. Yeah, smash hard up tilt is really, really good. Especially because of how like well it can catch jumps. Okay. Goes for a trump, doesn't get it. E, that is the double-edged sword of, of being in Smash Art. Sometimes that happens. Okay, throws him. Yeah, that's good. Tarek knows. So in that situation when you're fighting Shulk, if you're center stage and Shulk's in Smash Art, honestly, just take the throw. That's like, he's not going to be able to kill you if he, if he throws you center stage normally. Oh, that was so good. He like, I think he did drag down back air or something. That was disgusting. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if you're at high percent and you're fighting Shulk, center stage or like highish percent, just take the throw. Shulk can kill you from like all of his aerials or ground moves, but he's not gonna be able to kill you from a throw center stage. Yeah, Tarek is playing very evas evasive. Like pretty good at picking and choosing his spots of when to, when to approach. Up throw, barely not killing, but that up air will. And yeah, True 4 could have done something. He should have gotten out of Smash Art. I, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure he still had shield, so he could have done that as well, but he kind of just got sleeping at the wheel. Dash attack, not killing. Good DI from Tarek. Yeah, I like that. He does side the double side B to stall off stage, so two fours shield art or smash art meter disappears. <laughs> up air is gonna take it. Nice. Oh, there's so much damage. Good punish on the uh, on the jab, even though it doesn't kill. Hits him with fair, and if you notice. Tarek was behind uh, True 4, but Shulk's Fairy actually hits behind him. 
Oh, he hits him with backslash! I think Tech was trying to back air uh, True 4. And yeah, he gets backslash for it. Nice. Able to switch into the shield art in time. That was def definitely something he wasn't doing too often versus Rafflo, so. Good he's able to do that in this matchup. Because I feel like it's it's very important versus Greninja. How many down down tilt conversions he has. Oh, Footstool? Oh my god. Footstool out of shield. The meta. <sighs> that almost killed. Oh, that... I think that might have killed, honestly. Up air is so strong. Even even without Smash, I think there was a chance I could have killed him. Oh, this is scary. Okay, I was going to say, this is scary for Shoot for. He can get grabbed and die. Bears, wow. I want to say that was not the right DI, because he, like, died off the top. I think he was maybe holding up or something. I like it. Eric's pretty comfortable fighting uh, Shulk and, Sh and uh, Shield Art. Oh, so that was really good. Yeah, Greninja B definitely is really good at making you screw up your recovery. Like, make, either overshooting it or undershooting it. Okay, it spares him. That should be a stock. Back throw? I, I want to say fourth throw could have killed. Okay, but he gets the fair, the fair two frame regardless. That was nice. Barely gonna live. Oh no, he's dead. He gets hit with bear. They trade hits. And yeah, True Four just falls to his demise. All right, right now it's looking like Tarek's gonna is gonna take it. He's gonna qualify for finals. Oh, you're nuts. What a, what a, what a good way to end that that set. That was insane. Yeah, Tarek qualifies. He is really good. <laughs> got nothing else to say, except he's really good. Yeah, anyways, we got Peli versus Tarek. This is definitely a matchup I feel would be annoying for Greninja, just because it feels like it would be hard for him to pin Sonic down. Sonic in general is just like a hard character to pin down. He's one of the few characters that doesn't mind being cornered in a lot of cases, because Spin Dash just gets him out of situations. Oh, that was almost really, really brutal. If Heli had timed that up smash a little bit better, he could have he could have uh, taken Tarek's sock there. Oh, barely misses that up smash. Bear's gonna take it. Yeah, that was that was good. I guess that was like also kind of a lazy downer from Tarek because like Heli's right there. Yeah, solid damage. Been charged with a homing attack. Oh, unfortunate SD. He like was caught under the lip of the stage. It looked like good punish on that. Um, I'm pretty sure Sonic was negative on hit right there in that situation. Good timing on the forward air. That's I feel like it's not easy to do against like Sonic spin dash or spin charge. Good parry. Oh, undershoots his run. I think he might have been able to get it if he ran a little bit more. Although I don't know, maybe maybe he didn't. He wouldn't have enough time to run and do or run as much and get the up smash. Dash attack. I look like it almost killed. <laughs> up throw. Yeah, that's gonna do it. All right, so Pelly takes game one pretty solidly. It's kind of unfortunate because Herrick SD the second stock, but yeah, take those. Um, game number two, small battlefield. I feel like it's not that big of a change from PS2, but actually, this might be this might be easier for uh, Tarek to get up smashes on like the platforms. He ran across the stage and down tilted. 
Oh, he gets a Fort Smash kill. Nice. Yeah, Tarek's doing a lot better this game. Has a solid lead. Even if he loses stock here, he'll have like a, a pretty good uh, percent advantage. And Pelly is struggling to kill, although I think Updoor will kill at the moment. Or will kill. It's a grab. Up till I think will also kill. He has a lot of ways. Sonic actually has a lot of ways to kill at higher percents. Like, I'm not saying it's great kill power, but he just has like a lot of super high percent kill moves. Back throw is going to take it, okay. Okay, that fair is going to do it though. Yeah, he's too. I think it's too high of a, of a percent for that conversion to work. The spin charge for it, uh, forward air. Yeah, Pelly's just having a really hard time killing Tarek this game. Like, he, he's, Tarek is living a really high percent. This is definitely not something you want. Yeah, I feel like uh, percentage wise, they were doing roughly the same percent to each other. It's just that Tarek was getting earlier kills. Alright, game three, FD. Both characters like this stage. Oh yeah, right there when Tarek down tilted, uh, he was waiting for uh, Pelly to like do like a landing option, but he jumped away. Oh, but he gets the back air there. That was nice. So right there, Tarek was expecting a shield grab, and Pelly instead charges an up smash and gets a kill from it. Oh, good forward smash. This is a two frame again, but still, I mean, the the initial force punch he got was was good damage. Oh, good air dodge to avoid the back air there. Yeah, that was bad. I think he could have gotten punished harder. I feel like Pelly could have run up and down smashed. Oh, that was a bad dash attack, but he doesn't get punished too hard. Dash attack killing, all right. Um, I feel like Terry could have lived the dash attack too if he died it like more sort of way because it looked like he died in and just died at, off the top. Yeah, that was a good sequence from Pelly. He got a good amount of percent on on a uh, Terry. Fair to kill, yep. Yeah, get him off stage. Definitely gonna go for a two frame forward smash. This is. Hey, there's a, there's a forward smash. That sh could have been game. This is a, again. Honestly, if he gets one, he'll be in a good spot. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I think Pelly DI'd that wrong too. He got his uh, DI crossed up. Does it look, he looked like he went straight up. Oh, yeah, Tarek's turning it up. Good DI to avoid the, uh, the, uh, fit forwarder fall from, uh, spin charge. Yeah, Portal's gonna take it for uh, Terry. Good timing on the regular get up. Ooh, oh, okay, that looked so weird, but I mean, he got the kill from it. That was so close. I think that time, uh, Tarek just messed up full hopping. I don't think he went short off here there. Oh, that was nice. He didn't use the shuriken to stop the spin dash and then just grab them. Fair, there it is. Alright, Tarek's one stock away from, uh, making it to loser semis. Oh, he missed that grab. Okay, he should be dead here. Yeah, Tarek is just doing a phenomenal job of just surviving. 
I feel like he just knows what kill op what kill setups Pelly is looking for, and he's just evading them incredibly well. Oh, there's him. That was almost so bad. Oh, it's a high angled forward smash there. Doesn't he attempt a two frame of forward smash there, though. Oh, yeah. Pelly was just hoping he would do regular get up. It's a fair. That's going to do it. Yep. All right. Tarek wins 3 1. Who do I think is going to win this set? I don't know. They had a really close set the last time they played. It was game five. Although Siski kind of destroyed Tarek in the last match. But yeah, it was a very back and forth set. I feel like it was very momentum heavy. So I could see either player winning. Also, both of these people lost to Glutiny. So whoever wins, regardless, it'll be a rematch. I will say I did like Tarek's uh, Kazuya versus Gluto. He just. He got really close. He just. Couldn't close it out. Oh, fair is gonna kill, yeah. Okay, good up smash. Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, that was a good call from from Siski. Oh, no jump. Yeah, I, I feel like Siski should have known known that was coming. Like in that situation, there's not much uh, Greninja Greninja could do, so they'll shadow sneak to recover because they have to. So he could have waited a little bit a little bit more and avoided that situation and gotten the edge guard. Oh, nice charge shot to get the kill. Catches Tarek trying to jump on stage. Oh god, that almost connected. Good footstool kill, alright. I'm liking that people are using footstool to edge guard more, it's so good. It's also not as uh, risky as you may think, because uh, when you footstool, you have you have invulnerability frames. So even if the opponent throws out an attack, you can avoid it. Um, definitely recommend checking out Gamer's video on footstooling, because yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, although Siski has the percent lead, he has to be careful. Um, oh, he falls out of the upper there. Okay, Forder hits him off stage. How did that not hit him? Okay, that's it. I'm really surprised that charge shot with. Alright, game number two, back to stadium. Oh, he doesn't have a double jump. Oh, he didn't notice. Yeah, he uh, burned his double jump in the middle of uh, Siski's combo. He tried to jump double jump out of the fair, and he ate, yeah, it, it ate it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God. All right. Now the question is, is Tarek tilted? Is that that was that was some tilt worthy sequences? Okay, nice forward smash. Good parry on. Oh yeah, parry forward smash. Okay, really not killing. I feel like all things considered, Tarek's not doing too bad. He, he's he's still fighting. The hammer's gonna kill? Really? That looks so weird. Oh no, not nope. He's not uh switching to Kazuya. I would actually like to see that see that matchup. Uh, it, although it looks like it would be bad for him, but yeah, who knows? He can reflect stuff. I'd like to charge shot and kill at like zero or something. Fort Smash misses. He charged it for too long. He like really wanted to make sure he like got as much as he could from the Fort Smash. Oh, good tether punish. That was almost so bad for him. I don't know if he would have died or not, because I don't know how strong Samson's dare is at that percent, but that could have been bad. Oh, 
Sportsman, and that you cannot let that happen against a player like this team. Oh, is up throw going to kill here? It is. Yeah, up throw with rage kills significantly earlier than non rage. Like, it just. It scales so well with rage. Oh, good roll and read. He got that on his on uh, the first sock too. Okay, Greninja or Tex, gonna get the pair there. Oh, okay. That was he got the two frame on the down tilt, and he got the up smash. All right, Siski is one sock away from meeting Gluto back in Grand Finals and getting the run back. If Terry could do anything to bring this back. Is that it? It is. Wow. Three O's and Whipsley. That was brutal. That was not as close as it was before. So I don't know. Maybe Siski got a read on him or something. I don't know.